Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Cortez and this video is about Factor I. Factor I is a soluble glycosylated serine protease found in plasma. Factor I is able to protect host cells from complement-mediated attack. One of the most important functions of Factor I is that it's able to clear and inactivate C3B and C4B molecules generating their inactive forms called IC3B and IC4B. Factor I inactivates C3B and C4B by binding to these molecules that are deposited on the cell surface of host cells. Factor I is a protease that will clear C3B generating IC3B or inactive form of C3B. IC3B will not be able to form the C3 convertase or the alternative pathway C3B BB. Factor I also will cleave C4B, generating the inactive form of C4B called IC4B. This will not be able to form the C3 convertase of the classical and leptin pathway called C4B C2A. Factor I can continue cleaving IC3B to generate a very small fragment called C3BG and also cleave IC4B to generate a very small fragment called C4D. As you can see here, factor I play a fundamental role because by inactivating C3B and C4B, the convertases will not form and the host cells will be protected from complement-mediated attack. Factor I requires cofactors in order to inactivate C3B or C4B. Examples of these cofactors are CR1, also called CB35, MCP or CB46, soluble complement regulatory proteins that bind to C3B, factor H, and C4 binding protein that bind to C4B. These proteins are complement regulatory proteins that protect host cells from complement-mediated attack. These cofactors will help factor I to perform its function and as a consequence protect host cells from complement-mediated attack. The specific functions of each of these complement regulatory proteins have been covered in other videos. Thank you.